The current and future pandemic arrived all at once, making you and I the victim. In today's society, we are facing a major threat, cybercrime. Greetings, my name is Imani McHenry, and I am a cybersecurity champion, consultant, and educator. By a show of hands, how many of you all think that you've been a victim of cybercrime? I'm pretty sure you have. But the fact of, it's probably all of us in this room are victims at this current point. But we just don't know it. So I want you to think about a simple game, such as an icebreaker, in which you reveal your name, favorite color, and school you attended. In a matter of seconds, you've exposed your personal identity. And you've also become a potential victim of identity theft. So let that sit in for a moment and think about if that's you. Today is the day that we focus on our security and no longer fall victim to tactics known by malicious actors. Cyber criminals use sophisticated techniques like phishing scams, ransomware, and distributed denial of service attacks, also known as DDoS. Phishing involves sending a malicious email in which clicked can put viruses on your system. Do you think that that's a problem? Having valuable information on your devices, such as your everyday pictures, maybe your taxes, or something as simple as a paper. This has all been taken or maybe held hostage by something called a ransom attack. See, this happens when you're on the internet and maybe you go to your favorite social media account and you no longer have access. In which now you're told you have to give a lump sum of money in order, in order to gain that access back. See, the problem in itself is not cybercrime. It really starts with us. So take a moment and think about, are you the problem? See, with the COVID-19, we were exposed to a lot of vulnerabilities, with one of them being a lack of preparation. There were simplistic things that were told to us as a nation and which should have been an everyday routine, such as washing your hands, covering your mouth when you sneeze, or giving someone five feet in a grocery line. I don't know about you, but that health issue is something that is alarming to me. So I am here today to turn you into a digital citizen in which I provide those steps and those policies in which you need to put in order and practice every day. So our behaviors need to sh shift. 4.5 billion people started to use the internet globally, making the internet a large functionality of our nation's capabilities. We use it for communication, we use it for innovation, and most importantly, we use it for an everyday usage. It drives commerce in which we bring in money. 
but it also drives commerce in which we lose it as well. 800,000 internet complaints were told to the FBI alone in 2020. I don't know about you, but that sounds very alarming. 4.5 billion dollar losses were also done. If you compare that to several Fortune 500 companies, that's the amount of their revenue. So who's the problem? Are you still thinking about it? Do you think it's you yet? So practice, practicing digital hygiene, like updating your information, checking your devices to make sure that they're patched against vulnerabilities, sharing information and having conversations with your family members about digital literacy and why that's important to your community, using and changing your passwords often and not using them on the same platform as you would such as your social media account or your business account or your banking account. So embrace security. Foster a culture of security within your homes and your businesses and your everyday life. Promote digital literacy to your children to your spouse, to your coworkers. Create this culture because there's a vulnerable population in which will be left out if not enlightened. And most of that population looks a little like me. So thank you for this journey of becoming a digital citizen. And hopefully you practice these procedures daily. Thank you.